This is the Sikorsky S92, the industry standard for safety and reliability, thanks to more than 2 million fleet flight hours and nearly 95% availability, which is why numerous heads of state, corporate giants, and wealthy recluses have chosen the S92 over its competitors for a variety of reasons. The history of the legendary aircraft can be traced back to the early 90s when Sikorsky began exploring the possibility of developing a next-generation medium-lift helicopter with the aim of creating a multi-role rotorcraft that would meet the diverse requirements of both civilian and military operations. By the mid-90s, the project had garnered significant interest and the development formally began. The S-92 was designed to be a larger and more advanced version of Sikorsky's S-70, itself a derivative of the iconic Black Hawk. As such, the S-92 inherited several design elements from its predecessors but introduced new technologies and capabilities that would set it apart in its class. The aircraft gained worldwide recognition for its reliability and versatility and has been operated in diverse environmental conditions, from the deserts of the Middle East to the frigid waters of the North Atlantic. But can it really be considered the industry standard? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Sikorsky S-92. The first thing that strikes you when you step into the cabin is its roominess. With a length of 20 feet or 6.1 meters and a maximum width of 6.7 feet or 2 meters, it offers ample space to accommodate a variety of configurations. The cabin height is about 6 feet or 1.83 meters, which affords most passengers the luxury of standing upright, a rare and welcome feature in the realm of medium lift helicopters. The seating arrangements are flexible and can be tailored for different roles. In a standard utility configuration, the S92 can accommodate up to 22 passengers in a large stand-up cabin with a full cabin width rear ramp. However, the civil transport version has an airliner-type interior that comfortably seats 19 passengers, and in a more executive setting, the cabin can be outfitted with a 12-seat configuration that includes more luxurious seats, in-flight entertainment systems, and other creature comforts. The materials used in the cabin are durable and thoughtfully chosen to balance weight and functionality. Composite materials and aircraft-grade aluminum are prevalent, which contribute to the aircraft's overall durability and weight efficiency. The attention to detail extends to the quality of upholstery and fittings, which meet both aesthetic and practical requirements. One of the standout features is its effective noise and vibration control. The five-blade main rotor and four-blade tail rotor, in conjunction with acoustic liners and vibration absorbers, collectively make for a quieter and smoother flight experience. While you'll still need to wear your headset to communicate, the cabin noise is noticeably lower compared to many of its counterparts in the medium lift category. The environmental control system is capable of providing both heating and air conditioning, ensuring that the cabin remains comfortable regardless of external weather conditions. However, it's worth noting that the system can sometimes be a bit noisy, especially when operating at full capacity. The cabin incorporates adequate storage solutions, including overhead bins and underseat compartments, making it versatile for missions that require equipment or cargo. Additional stowage space is available in the 140 cubic feet or 4,000 liter area located in the aft ramp compartment. Moreover, the cabin floor is strengthened to accommodate heavy loads, rated up to 3,000 pounds or 1,361 kilograms in some configurations. And finally, in terms of safety, the cabin is equipped with energy-absorbing seats, overhead and lateral rail systems for stretchers, and easy access to emergency exits. The cockpit offers ample room for two pilots and an optional observer or additional crew member. The design integrates ergonomic principles, providing easy reach and visibility for all critical controls and systems. Instrument panels are designed to minimize glare with backlit LED buttons and displays that enhance readability in various lighting conditions. At the heart of the S-92's flight capabilities is its fully integrated fly-by-wire flight control system. Unlike traditional mechanical linkages, this system relays control inputs electronically, reducing the number of moving parts and thereby increasing reliability. The system also includes features like Auto Hover, which aids in operations like search and rescue where maintaining a steady position is crucial. 
The avionics suite is primarily composed of the Thales Top Deck Avionics System, a fully integrated modular solution that streamlines the piloting process. It includes four 8x10 inch MFDs that are highly customizable, allowing pilots to configure them based on the mission's requirements. The AS-92 features a full array of modern navigation systems including GPS, INS, and DME. The communication capabilities are equally robust, with VHF, UHF, and SATCOM options available. A traffic collision avoidance system and ADS-B system further bolster the aircraft's safety credentials. Enhanced ground proximity warning systems and synthetic vision systems work in tandem to provide pilots with a comprehensive understanding of their environment. The SVS produces a three-dimensional depiction of the terrain, runways, and obstacles, all of which appear on the multifunction displays. This is particularly useful during low visibility operations and contributes substantially to reducing the likelihood of controlled flight into terrain. The engine data is meticulously displayed to provide real-time monitoring of various parameters such as turbine temperature, RPM, and fuel consumption. An intelligent fuel management system allows pilots to optimize engine performance based on the mission profile, which is essential for long-duration flights or when carrying heavy loads. In terms of safety, the cockpit is equipped with emergency systems that include fire suppression controls and oxygen masks. Critical systems are duplicated to ensure redundancy, and the helicopter itself is designed to be fault tolerant, meaning it can continue to operate safely even when certain components fail. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Sikorsky S92 is powered by two General Electric CT78A turboshaft engines with a TBO of 3,500 hours each of which is capable of producing up to 2,520 shaft horsepower. The choice of these engines underscores the aircraft's intended roles in multiple operational scenarios, ranging from search and rescue to offshore oil rig support and executive transport. In standard conditions, the rate of climb per minute stands at approximately 1,450 feet or 442 meters, a figure that emphasizes the helicopter's capabilities in situations that demand rapid ascents. This becomes particularly important in rescue missions at high altitudes or during quick escapes from potentially dangerous environments. The maximum service ceiling is rated at 14,000 feet or 4,300 meters, offering a considerable range of operational altitudes. While the S-92 is not intended for extremely high-altitude missions like some specialized rotary aircraft, this ceiling is more than adequate for the majority of its roles, including mountainous search and rescue operations and long-range transport. In terms of speed, the S-92 doesn't disappoint. The maximum speed is 165 knots and the maximum cruise speed is 150 knots, which, when combined with its other performance attributes, make it one of the more versatile medium-lift helicopters in its category. The average fuel burn per hour is around 220 gallons or 830 liters, which, when considered with its maximum fuel capacity of 760 gallons or 2,900 liters, lends the aircraft a significant operational range. The maximum range is approximately 550 nautical miles, which is 630 miles or 1,000 kilometers, making it well-suited for extended missions or any operation requiring considerable distance coverage. And finally, talking about payload, the S-92 boasts a maximum net payload of 13,500 pounds or 6,120 kilograms and a commendable full fuel payload of 4,135 pounds or 1,880 kilograms, sufficient for most missions even with full fuel tanks. The base purchase price for a new Sikorsky S-92 is $27 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $6,000 to $9,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more. While the annual fixed cost is roughly $500,000 to $750,000, the average hourly operating cost is estimated at $3,000 to $4,500. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.